Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, All Things Tanya. If this is your first time stopping by, on my channel, I love creating fun, easy, and affordable DIYs. Today, I created some beautiful home decor pieces using Dollar Tree items, wood scrap pieces, and sunflower paper. So if you haven't already, I hope you enjoyed today and will consider subscribing to my channel. My friends who are always here supporting me, welcome back. My first DIY, I will be using these two frame pieces. I used them in a previous DIY that didn't turn out so great. So I'm going to be using them again. The backs are already covered. So the only thing I would have to do before starting the DIY is repaint the front of them. I'm going to remove the inside pieces from the frames and then I'm going to use my Waverly Chalk Paint color white and give the insides one coat of the paint. So that I can complete my project, I'm going to use my heat dryer to dry the paint. This is an awesome tool to use and to have handy. I will put the link in my description box below. I picked it up from Amazon and I really love it. Now that both of the pieces are all dried, I'm just going to reattach them to the frames. All of the DIYs that I will be completing today are so very easy, but they turn out great at the end. You're going to love every single one of them just as much as I do. At least I hope you do. The next part is very easy. This is the simplest part of this DIY. I am a scrapbooker too, so I have a lot of scrapbook paper and I'm going to begin to use some of them in my DIYs because scrapbook paper is another budget-friendly item that you could use in your DIYs. There's no set or specific way that you need to place your paper down inside of your frame. I'm just going to place the pieces down until my eyes are happy and I'm content with what it looks like. And then I'm going to use my glue stick and glue the pieces down. It's just that simple. I want to be able to hang both of the frames, so I'm going to use some beads and I strung them on a piece of jute twine and I'm just going to use my hot glue gun and glue them to the back of the frame. I really love how these turned out. I only used two frames, some scrapbook paper, and some beads. Look how gorgeous, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. For my next DIY, I'm going to use some pieces that I took from an old frame, an old picture frame, and I just broke it apart because I love the wood pieces and I did not want to throw it away because I know I could use it in a DIY. I'm just going to darken the wood by using the mixture of Waverly Antique Wax and my Waverly Chalk Paint Color Ink. I love the darker look of the wood, so I'm just going to darken it up a little using a wet paper towel and the mixture. Once this stain is all dried, I'm going to use my hot glue gun and glue the pieces together. And I am using my Gorilla Glue Sticks that I picked up from Walmart. I love the hold. I never have any issues when using this glue to glue my wood pieces together. I am creating a butcher block, although it is a decorative butcher block and you would not actually use it. It's just for decorations only. 
Next, I'm going to take this beautiful piece of sunflower scrapbook paper and I'm just going to add some glue from my glue stick and wrap it around the wood piece. I'm going to use my Cricut scraper to make sure the paper is attaching to all parts of the wood. And then I'm also going to go along the grooves of the line so it will look like the scrapbook paper is actually a part of the wood. To finish off my decorative butcher block, I'm just going to take some twine and go around both ends and this DIY will be completed. This one is very simple guys. I really love how it turned out. I think it is just gorgeous. I hope you like it too. For my final DIY, I will be using these two crates that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I will also be using these paint stick ends that I cut off to use in a previous DIY. Tonight, I'm going to use these pieces to create two beautiful flower caddies. I'm going to use the paint stick tips to create handles for my caddies. I'm just going to glue them to the sides to cover the holes. This is what it looks like with the two handles glued to the side. Now I'm going to complete the same with the other crate and then we will finish up this DIY. Now again, I'm going to use my mixture of Waverly Antique Wax and my Waverly Chalk Paint Color Ink because I want a darker stain for these two caddies. So I'm just going to mix a tad bit of my ink paint into my Waverly Antique Wax. Along with my paintbrush, I'm going to use some wet paper towels to apply my stain. That way I will have better control of how dark or how light my caddies turn out. Look how great this stain turned out. I really love this color. Now I'm just going to use some scrapbook pieces and I'm going to use my glue stick and I'm going to glue them right to the front of the caddies. I'm using my scraper again to make sure the scrapbook paper attaches to the wood and I'm going along those grooves to make sure that the scrapbook paper looks like it's a part of the wood. As you can see here, I used two different pieces of scrapbook paper, but for the back, I'm going to use two pieces that are the same, just to make the caddies versatile, just in case I want to change it up a little. Now I'm going to add two thick pieces of jute rope and I'm going to use them for my handles. Then I have some jute twine that I tied into some knots and I'm going to put them on the outside of my caddy so it will look like the rope is actually going through the handles.
Look at how adorable this is turning out. I am so glad I created two of these. These are so adorable. So I'm going to finish this one up and then I'm going to decorate it and show you guys how they both turned out. Here's a look at the front and a look at the back. I hope you guys like these just as much as I do. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. All right, my friends, that is all that I have for you tonight. Thank you so much for spending a small part of your day with me. Remember, if this is your first time stopping by, I truly hope you enjoyed tonight and will consider subscribing to my channel. Please do not forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share this video with your friends because that really helps to support my channel. At the end, two more videos of mine will pop up and I hope you will enjoy them as well. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye guys! Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on my mommy's channel!